welcome to the Hollywood Bring 21 theme night. Tonight we are celebrating the magic from the 1930s in honor of Carl Fleming, the founder of Wing 21. This evening's program consists entirely of footage dating to the 1930s. But first, a word from our sponsor. Here's Bob Graham of Indianapolis, all set to prove the hand is quicker than the eye. Watch closely now. You may want to mystify your friends. After the string is threaded through the straw, he bends the straw and straightens the strings. Next, he clips off the peak of the straw and throws it away. Now, he puts the straws together and pulls the string through. Presto, it's still in one piece. Believe it or not. Say, that's slick. Come on, tell us how you did it, Bob. Well, then at least tell us where we can learn tricks like that. Thanks. Come on, folks, let's look. Well, it's the famous Bike Party and Magic Stunts book. You can get one for two whiz wrappers and six cents in coin or stamps. The whiz bar is made in the famous bike kitchens, is cellophane wrapped for freshness, supplies quick energy, the world's biggest candy value, only a nickel. Sold everywhere, and boy, it's good. Remember, get your party and magic stunts book by sending two whiz wrappers and six cents in coin or stamps to Paul F. Bike Company, Department 1, Chicago. Full instructions on every whiz wrapper. in his 15 years experience as a teacher of magicians as Dr. Harlan Tarbell had an experience like this one. He's visiting the Metropolitan Motion Picture Studio to perform his amazing demonstration before the camera. Well, you'll see and hear what happened. With cotton pads and layers of adhesive tape, his eyes are sealed. And then... That is a newspaper. In reading a newspaper, I read in a little bit different manner, in a way that you cannot read even with your eyes open. Huh, I see that's a bowling event. Stein takes the lead with 149 pins in the national match event. Here is a picture of the oldest and the youngest in the bowling tournament. Bill Herman, 57 years old, and Vincent Powers, 23 years old. Lord knows. I get a mental impression that the boys around the studio wonder if I'm really doing this according to Hoyle. Well, boys, bring up your objects and place them in a few inches of my fingertips. Anything at all. I would say that's a card. Now on that card, it's uh, of lemon. Oh, it's, it's a Detroit card, isn't it? His first name's Leonard. Is that right? right. Correct. All right. This happens to be a card of uh, oh, Rowley and Zimmerman. Is that right? Correct. All right. Huh. There, oh, there's a tripod for a camera. That's some size. A sort of a wallet with a letter on the inside. Next. Huh. There's a plug box. No, the electrician would get that thing out. All right. Next, oh, that's a photograph. I would say a photograph of a mother little baby on her arm or on his back. Is that right? Right. Next. Huh. Well, there's a traveling stage employee's contract. <laughs> Give <them some. laughs> Come on, next. Uh, that's a uh, half dollar. Oh, say, that's an old one, though. My gracious. Say, that's it. Put that up on the little finger, will you? Uh, 1830, correct? <laughs> <laughs> and that is what they call eyeless vision. The result of 15 years in the work of the compensation of the human senses. Really and truly see.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 